To create 3D scenes in Blender, you have to create lots of different things from environment assets, trees, people, buildings, vehicles, you name it. But one other essential thing is weather effects. Effects like snow, rain, fog, thunderstorms, or even wind. Because this will help you elevate your Blender projects and take them to the next level. So in today's video, we're gonna focus on the add-ons that are gonna help you do just that. By the way, if you want add-ons for skies and clouds, we made a video exclusively about that. So stick around and let's discover what these add-ons have to offer. Before we continue, I wanted to let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now a huge winter sale with 25% discount on thousands of Blender products from add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best add-ons and courses that can take your projects to the next level. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Rain is probably the first thing that comes to mind, especially when talking about weather. This generator called Baga Rain utilizes geometry nodes to create realistic and detailed rain effects for your scenes. So, using this tool, you can generate rain showers in a short period of time, as well as easily overlaying rain shaders on any material, in addition to having plenty of control over a set of adjustable settings, such as density, rainfall height, splashes, speed, wind effects, collisions, and looping animations. In addition, you can target specific areas and watch as rain cascades into your scene, which enhance surfaces exposed to rain and make them look good and more believable. The procedural rain generator can seamlessly infuse rain into any material and it can do that instantly, which can save you a lot of time and effort, especially if you have to do that manually every time. And when it comes to performance, you don't have to worry about that since the add-on renders splashes as just points, which allows for larger quantities of rain in your scene. And what is nice about the shader is that it can blend seamlessly with your materials, which can add a hint of motion blur to your droplets, in addition to splashes, for extra realism. The next add-on we're gonna talk about is called Fog Planes. From what I can see, it offers an array of fog textures using shaders to simplify the customization of these fog planes. This can be helpful for making still renders or even animations. And the add-on generally adds nature-inspired details without compromising rendering time since you are using only planes. Their 2D generated textures, complemented by modifiers, can offer depth and motion effects, which can be a nice trick in 3D projects. Another useful feature of this add-on is the advanced shader that gives you control over the appearance and can be keyframed for animations. But if you want something more advanced for creating fog and uses volumetrics instead of using planes, I would recommend Easy Fog 2, which came out just recently. It works in a different manner because, as I said, it uses volumetrics and comes with 50 plus procedural volume presets in addition to 100 plus static VDB volumes and 20 pre-animated presets. So as you can see, it has tremendous value. We already talked about it a bit, and you probably know about it because it is extremely popular right now and it is selling like hotcakes. So, if you're interested, I think it's gonna be great. Now, if you want to create thunderstorms, this add-on called Thunderstorm helps you create customizable thunderstorm effects with elements such as lightning, fog, rain, and more. From what I can see, it allows you to create lightning exactly where you want it to be, which makes it super easy to customize and tweak by moving those keyframes around. And the nice thing is that it uses 2D images for generating clouds, which can save you a lot of rendering time and give you relatively decent results. But there is more. You can make your lightning look better by using the Thunderstorm Compositing Node Group. And if you want your scenes to look even more brighter, you can use up to 10 point lights to make your lightning effect shine. Now, from Light Architect, a developer who is known for creating awesome add-ons, we have an add-on called Weather Effects. But the catch is, it wasn't updated for a while, so it only works with Blender 3.4 and previous versions. Anyways, it allows you to create rain, 
hail or snow using the particle system. It is really easy to use, and it is as easy as checking boxes for your desired weather elements, naming your particle system, and voila, your weather system can now seamlessly integrate into your scene. But wait, there is more. Once your weather effects are in place, dive deeper into customization by tweaking settings, baking movement, and fine-tuning everything within Blender's intuitive particle system panel. Now, a quick way to create snow in Blender is with this add-on, which allows you to create dynamic snowscapes over any object of your choice with full customizability over the effect. Using Quick Snow, you can cover the entire scene in snow in a short period of time, which offers you control over objects and materials with a diverse range of shader features. Generally, it is compatible with both Cycles and EV and it ships with materials featuring PBR textures ranging from 1K to 4K depending on your needs. Additionally, it supports the animation of snow or any shader node parameter. In addition, it recently introduced 8 new snow textures and the highly anticipated Geo Snow Mesh feature which allows for easy generation of snow mesh using geometry nodes. And if you want more control, you can explore the built-in presets, managing snow direction, velocity, turbulence, fog, adjusting snow coverage, blending, displacement, material settings, and more. Now, we're going to talk about a very interesting add-on called the Particle Library. It is basically a collection of pre-made, fully customizable particle animations made for Blender. And it offers a diverse range of 57 plus animations spread across nine categories. And it also comes with 10 high quality pre-animated 3D models that can be easily added to your scene. This library comes with lots of weather assets, including various options for rain with different intensities, in addition to snow and even storms designed to add atmosphere to your renders. From what I can see, these assets come ready with raindrops and snow particles appended to the animations, so you can use them straight out of the box by simply importing them. You can also have the option to use spark, fire, and ember animations that can enhance your animation sequences. These animations offer variation using the seed function in the particle settings, which provides you a range of choices, allowing you to have more options. Last but not least, we have this add-on called Simple Wind which helps you add a subtle wind effect to your scene by affecting your objects and adding life to them. Imagine crafting a beautiful scene, but it lacks that natural movement you see every day, like trees swaying and the laundry dancing in the wind. These tiny motions bring life to our world, but recreating this in 3D can be tedious, especially if you try to do it manually. That's why the simple wind add-on comes handy because it can add that missing lifelike touch in no time. Generally speaking, it is really easy to use, and it is also customizable, in addition to being constantly updated. Basically, it lets you tweak each object individually, even layering multiple wind effects for different movements, and it automatically handles object movements, like making plants sway at the top without wobbling at the base. It also has other features that you can take a look at for yourself. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.